Mori, how you doing, man? So I'm here in the office and I found a piece of our carbon fiber that is uh, for building the drone. And I was curious, what was our thought process with going with carbon fiber over a plastic drone? So the short answer is that it's much stronger. Uh, and up to 90 times uh, the strength of like plastics. So considerably stronger material. Um, and there's so many different varieties of carbon fiber though. Uh, we chose 3K toe, uh, a two by two twill, which is basically one of the lighter formulas for carbon fiber that's, because it's all strength to weight ratio. So we wanted the strength, but of course you can get, we have 3K twill, you can get 12K twill, uh, and that is much stronger, but of course much heavier. So the two by two twill is actually uh, best visualized like this. If it was a one by one, which is the standard, it would look like a checkerboard as it's woven together. The two by two twill looks like a herringbone uh, shape. Yeah, and you have a section of it right there. That's perfect. And so the benefit of that, and the reason we chose it is because if you have that checkerboard pattern, it doesn't like to wrap around round surfaces. Obviously we have a lot of curves on our drone, so that two by two twill, it just, it likes to lay right around curved surfaces, that, which really helps us um, in the manufacturing for sure. And then the chassis itself, we take that carbon fiber and because it's all one continuous piece of carbon fiber, it's described as a monocoque design, which basically just means uh, that it's uniform, like it's one sheet uh, continuous and without any seams. Okay, so you mentioned the monocoque design, but what does that actually mean when we're talking about building it with our carbon fiber? So because we have that continuous structure, um, all the compressive and uh, tension forces are acting on all parts of the drone at the same time. So you're not getting one part that's getting like pushed on. Uh, it, when you push on one side of the drone, it's kind of pushing on everything together. Uh, the best example of that in nature is the egg. The egg has a monocoque design. So if you've ever done that experiment where you put a raw egg in your hand and you, right in the palm of your hand, you try to squeeze it, you can't, yeah, you can't break it. And that's like exactly the same physics is happening um, in the design of our drone. I appreciate you stopping by, Mari, giving us a little insight into uh, what the drone is actually made out of. And uh, I'll talk to you later, man. All right, see ya.